Hello, my name is Holden Mathias. Today on First Person Review, we're going to tell you how to change a nitro engine on your Align helicopter with an OS50 Max engine. Let's get started. good all right that's in there and after that's in there we'll go ahead and uh, put another here on this side which is down here at the bottom right here and uh, make sure it's lined up what I do you can do this to get it started is to take a wrench get it down in there kind of round it make sure it's center then you can start it by hand or with a wrench I prefer Either way, they both work just as fine, as long as you get it started. Once it's in there, tighten it up. Okay. Now, what we'll do is on the other side, the same thing. Here. Dance around this. <laughs> All right. And guys, you need a good, big, open workspace so you can see what you're doing. And you know, everything laid out where you need it. All right, and like I said, I don't know if you can see this, but there's actually, like I was talking about earlier, there's a flat side, okay, and then there's a like a recessed side that fits this countersunk for the screw head. And you can see when you put that on there, like that, it sits flush like that. Okay, and like I said, same thing, same two holes. One here, one here. This is for the fan shroud. Like I said, you can finger start it if you want, or hand start it, either way, as long as you prefer. So not too tight, just take it and when it hits, do a half a turn. That's what I do and it works just fine. All right, so it hits, Let's see it hits, half a turn, you're done. All right, now that's in there. Now we can work on the motor itself, applying Loctite, etc. So now after that motor is the franchise installed, we'll go back to our screws. Then uh, we're gonna apply blue or red moderate amount of Loctite, be, you know, be responsible with it, don't go crazy. But what I generally like to do, and it works for me, get it closer, is I like to take it and get like a little push it until it bubbles out. There it is. And I just like to touch it dead center, just like that. Then what I'll do is actually take this and work it down in between the grooves. So it's not making a mess. So if you can see, if we're cutting dropping it, it's actually in the bottom parts of the grooves right here. And what I like to do after I do that, I put another just a little tiny drop on the end right there. And we'll go ahead and stick that down in the frame using your 2.5 millimeter screw head. And like I said, this Loctite is not going to come out. So when it when it bottoms out, which is right there. So all you gotta do is half a turn extra. And you know, same thing on every one of them. And you can even, I'm gonna do this with your fingers. You know, either way, just take it, bloop it out on the end. Take it with your fingers if you want. Fingers are napkin, either way, just work it in. And then I like to put another drop on the tip, just in case. And then we'll just put it right on if you can see, but I just did that one right there. I'm doing that one right there. So we'll go ahead, if I can get this on camera. 
right here. I'll tighten it down. Like I said, I don't know if you can catch this, but when it stops, when it bottoms out, which will be about it right there, ready, and have a turn. That's all you gotta do. <clears throat> now, same literal thing on the other side. Oh, blade holder's coming out. All right. <clears throat> there are screws. Make sure you got the washer on it now. I know a lot of guys will just put a big blob and it'll get all messy, but if you just, like I said, blue it out, drop it, finger it in. Nice and all over. And for security, I just put like a little, okay, and then we'll go, same thing, we'll, one right here on the top, and screw it in nice. Now like I said, when it bottoms out, ready, half a turn, there it is. Don't forget this guy now, the one we put in to, you know, line everything up, it should be just loose fitted in there. Same thing, make sure the washer's off. We'll drip, we'll rub it in nice. A little drop on this for security. Put it down in here and you get a rhythm going. It's kind of fun actually. And then, you know, the same routine we did the last four times or three times will be number four. And when it stops, half a turn, ready? And half a turn. That motor is officially a mountain. Now what I, for what I do is if you can zoom in, the fan shroud and the fan relation, they should not touch. Go ahead and spin it a little bit. Back and forth. You shouldn't feel any rubbing. Don't like go crazy, you know, popping the piston up and down. There's no oil. But just at the point where it moves like slightly, freely, it shouldn't rub on the shroud. So we're good. Now what we have to do now is put the gear on. So we put it, before I like to do is pop it up on the head. Make sure you have padding. I'm leaking fuel here. Go ahead and just, uh, Put it back here. Anyway, so now what we'll do now, oh man, it's messy. We'll take this little guy, put it on top. You can see down here. Now remember, I'm gonna try to do this sideways, but like I said, same, same principle, same screws. Lock tight. Work it in. And now, a good tip also, if you don't have any lock tight, use super glue. It's the same basic principle. It's just a little tougher to get out. And we'll go ahead and line it up. Right here. Okay, and that should go on the bottom mount right there. Okay, take your screw down. And again, same principle. Actually, what we'll do is don't do a half turn, just do it until it touches on this particular thing. Line it up, you know, so it can still move freely, but it's seated down. That makes sense to you. And we'll take the last and final screw. Drop a lock tight, mark it down. Put a little drop on the tip for security. All right, same thing on the bottom, which will be right here. Ooh. Don't forget your washer, like I just about did. Make sure it's lined up. Get it started by fingers or whatever's convenient for you. And take your now what you can do now now you know everything's lined up good go to attach go back to the first one half turn ready and there it is now go back to the bottom one until it touches and half turn ready and 
there it is. Now your ground, that little guy, is whatever's convenient. This one's right here is convenient. So you unscrew this off the crankcase. You don't you don't really need Loctite on the crankcase and this kind of part because there's really I mean you can if you want, but I, personally preference personal preference I wouldn't just because it gets so hot and you know I never had a problem with it like it is. Let's go ahead and wrench that down. After here it is. Now we can go ahead and turn it on its top. Right here, now you kind of have to do this up. I don't know if you can get around and see this or not. But then take your gear, your little skids, skids, make sure in the right direction. And just set it down there, get it started. What I like to just kind of hold it up, get it in the hole, and then just get one started one until it touches don't go crazy just get it touched there it is now go to the front left corner the opposite corner get it seated down left up like that and seat it down at the top of the hole it should just fall down when you find it all right and then the same these should just literally fall where you need them And do all until they touch so that it seats down nice. Half turn, half turn, half turn until it touches, half turn. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you put an OS motor or any brand in particular that you can think of. OS motor inside of a 600 aligned frame. Now, like always, you can, uh, what I do, you know, this is just me being over ridiculous or over, you know, OCD about it. But after it's all done, after you start it up and do your break in, if you will, I go back and half turn it again. Because they should, I mean, even though it's lock tighted, 9% of the time they usually kind of get a little loose because everything gets seated and break it in. But, that's normal. Just go ahead and just tighten it up again. Before I fly, I always check my frame screws and everything. They'll be in a different video. But I enjoyed this episode. I hope this is helpful. You know, like, subscribe, do what you please. And uh, remember, make the first review count. Again, my name is Holden Matthias. See y'all later.